So hey guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to take a look at angular and clearing some misconceptions about angular that is angular is big heavy gigantic slow slower than react shadow dom virtual dom and all that so stick with me i'm going to clear all that so here i have two projects one is in angular and one is in react so in react i have tried my best to make it as bare minimum as possible so as you can see here that is app.js have no code i mean 24 lines of code that is one component a single component app.js another so let's also just remove if you want to remove this but this code is a you know a little a really small as compared to angular one and in angular one as you can see here uh, we have html a long running line of around uh, let's see 500 lines of code okay and in react let's see we have 39 uh, plus 24 and that's not also full proof okay so I to make react as small as possible to compare and now i'm gonna uh, go to angular one and I'm gonna leave this as it is okay I know the angular one build is going to be small now if we go to uh, our terminal and here I'm gonna remove the build folder and I'm gonna build this react project again so I'm gonna say sudo not that npm run build and in the angular project I'm gonna again say ng build so that's two of them okay one is for angular and one is for react and react we have something called as build folder in which all the scripts etc are gone and in the angular one we have the dist folder so you know and in this video i'm gonna talk on pure facts not moral values uh, that, such that angular is more harder to write that's not the case angular is easier to write if you know the framework because this is the same case with the Django if we if you know Django very well it's very easy and it's very adaptable you can create uh, go straight to a, a Django and you can create a very beautiful performant apps that's the same case with Django the thing is uh, thing with uh, angular is it uses TypeScript so beginners thought that this is an very hard framework and another thing it uses a lot of boilerplate code but i don't think it's a lot of boilerplate code because my components are in their own isolated folders with only one app module we have to just import that in the declaration and that's all and in angular we have all built in functions i don't need axios any of that okay so uh, as you can see here we have our angular still compiling those things and in the uh, at react one it has completed the build now if we go into the build as you can see here we have uh, index.html and we have in the static we have css in js we have all these things and in css we have all these things okay so let's go back and clear the screen now in theory what we do as now we will just copy all of this in the build folder and put it on our website so this is what we do we grab all of this in the build folder and put it on the website and host it but the thing is here that this all have to be downloaded in our uh, client what, what whoever is using our website we need to download all this html css on that so browser is downloading that so the lower the build size or the size of this build folder is the lesser uh, amount will be taken of time to be loaded on our server uh, on our users browser so let's see if i'm going here it's actually downloading all of this assets uh, manifest index or j index or html robots or txt and all that now let us do sudo du dash h dash max depth equals one which gives us the folder size so as you can see here it's around 516 kilobytes okay if we go to the angular one and if we clear the screen if we go to dist folder angular project 
Now if we do sudo du dash s dash s max depth equals one, as you can see here, it's only about 200 kilobytes. Now this is the catch here. If we go to, uh, if we run the server here, port 9090 and let's go to our port 9090 and let's run this okay it's uh, just a second okay it's taking okay now it has this has shown us this page react app now if we go if we stop the server here and if we go to the angular one and start the server here you saw that this page, this page is a bare minimum, no, uh, like you can see that this, this is only one tag, another tag and just CSS around that. If you go to the angular one, again, port 9000, this is a hell amount of CSS going here. As you can see that we have this component here, uh, not component, I would say this is Okay, let's, uh, this is HTML, some backgrounds, SVG is running all around this and still this is just 200 kilobytes. Just see the difference here. This is like nothing and this is like many of the components, HTML tags here and this is like one tag, one and this is 500 KB. And if you see here, this is 200 KB. Now this is the catch here. Uh, now we have uh, take the build size. Let us go to the next agenda, which is our build. Uh, so we have done the project at the build size. You have seen that Angular one is lesser than the React one. Now, if we go to the light, uh, I have made some two clones. One, uh, let me show you here. So this one uh, is made in React and this here is made in angular so this is one uh, so this is in react and this is in angular so i will refresh that refresh that so both of them are in react and angular now i have not uh, run the lighthouse here because you would say that angular has some service workers you can do a service workers with that i have not done anything with these two apps they are perfectly same now let's see the performance matrix so this one is the react one as you can see here, this is one. This is the React one. So latest performance of report for a uh, clone 3C. Okay, this is one here. Clone 3CA uh, dot web dot app. Now let me go to the Angular one. So this is the Angular matrix. So those who say that Angular perf uh, Angular site performs less. This is the case. I'm not going to say anything. You can see the uh, performance matrix here. 357, 915. So this is just because of the build size. This this here, this build size will be much greater and this build size will be much smaller because as you can see that in the Angular, we have a hell amount of code written in our simple React app. We have less amount of code written. So, still, the build size is way bigger than the Angular one. Now, so now many of the people tell me that so just because Angular has TypeScript and it has lo a lot more boilerplate like Django doesn't mean it's slow and bulky. Okay. Now, many of them tell that if you have chosen React JS, you can use the same knowledge in React Native for building native apps. That's not really the native apps, but they say that you can build native apps that is high performant. Let me carry you performance. Flutter. Okay. That's not what I'm saying that. Flutter is six times faster, not percent, six times faster than the React. And I'm going to say that I have tried both React Native and Flutter and I like the Flutter one better because the way Flutter handle things, pub.dev, and we have split for ABI and CLI is so powerful like Angular. Angular CLI is so powerful. You can go to Angular project. Okay, you can just see, uh, let me show you. If you want to create a project component, right, you can just have NGGC and component name and that component is ready for you. And it's already imported and you just have to do is go to any declaration that component will be automatically available. Now what you just have to do is go to the diff folder and type here com app component. That's it. And now 
the everything inside the component one will be available on the uh, app dot home app component dot html okay so this is the basic comparison of uh, react native flutter angular so basically those who say that angular is way bigger less performance and we can use our javascript knowledge in our react native knowledge so basically no one cares about what you use react native or what no one is caring about would you use Vue.js, AngularJS, etc. On the end side, on the user side, what user really care about is how your app is performing, what user experience they are gaining by coming onto your app, is it slow, is it fast, etc. and all that. So basically, I am not saying that you don't need to use uh, React Native or React, they are very good frameworks, but I am saying that don't misunderstand that Angular is way slower than the react one okay i have showed you the matrix here so as you can see that uh, performance report is 100 and performance report is 98 now if i test this on browser okay if i test that google clones on browser so let me open the browser and use lighthouse for that clone and let's run the right lighthouse here generate report and let's go to our angular clone and let's run the lighthouse so now i think that both of them will have the same performance 100 100 okay so um and if we go to our angular clone Okay, so we have the Angular matrix now. So Angular performance was 99 and the React performance was 85. So let's, <laughs> okay. So basically uh, Angular one also performed better in the lighthouse. So basically I want just wanted to give message that Angular is not slow. Everyone saying that React is JavaScript with steroids and all that. Basically, it's not that steroids on the uh, angular is more of the steroids one because in react whatever we have to do we most of the times in react you will find using npm write xcs npm write uh, react router and all that stuff in angular we have to do that way lesser times because we have a rea angular router built in we have the http client module and if we go to xcs which react developers use also view developers in axis uh, axis is heavily inspired by the http dot service provided in angular not react okay can you see it Axios is heavily inspired by HTTP service provided in Angular. Ultimately, Angular is an Axios is an effort to provide a standalone HTTP-like service for outside of Angular. So basically, it's inspired by Angular. So we have we don't have to do npm install Axios. In Angular projects because we already have that Axios which is uh, more powerful we don't have any extra build for Axios because we already have that in our so build size will be way lesser startup time will be way higher uh, way lesser way lesser than the react one and I have told you all the facts that I have if you have any fact and you say that react app is more faster you can comment down below so that's all for today I see you guys next time. Till then, see ya. Have a good day.